Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix on the PS3. The last time, we got a lot of stuff done here in Traverse Town, including meeting our new party members, Donald and Goofy, and we defeated the uh, first real boss of the game that was on the dark side, uh, the guard armor, which showed up shortly after meeting Donald and Goofy, and then we went ahead and explored some more of the town to get some uh, the Trinity Marks and all that other good stuff. So we got a pretty good fair amount done. And if we come over here to the Dalmatians house, Leon's over here, and if you don't know about the Dalmatians, I guess this is a good way to find out, because you come over here and he tells you, hey, this is the puppy's home. When their world disappeared, they were torn away from their family and scattered to other worlds. I bet the little guys are terrified. Ah, they must be. Sora, I'm counting on you. Yeah, I guess he's a, I guess he's an animal lover. Maybe, maybe he got it from Renoa from Final Fantasy VIII. Who, by the way, I don't think ever makes an appearance in the Kingdom Hearts games, and if she does, well, I don't remember seeing her. I want to check something in these rooms. It's probably not going to be anything, but I just want to check. Uh, let's see, not you. Let's check the green room real fast. Because we were stuck in the red room earlier with uh, Donald. Or not Donald. Um, actually, no, we were stuck in the other room. The uh, We were stuck in this room. We, were, we weren't stuck in the red room here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here for us, actually, now that I think about it. Make sure you can go out to the balcony and stuff, but, uh, I don't think there's a whole lot there. I like how it's, uh, I like how this is a Mulan style, uh, styled room with a Mushu up there, and I think that's one of the mountains from the movie. It might be. I don't know. But yeah, I like how it's a nice little Mulan styled room. I like it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to this gummy ship that they were talking about. By the way, I don't think any enemies are going to reappear in this world until you exit the world on your gummy ship and then come back. So I don't think anybody's going to show up for a little bit. They might not even show up till after you meet another world. I, f I forget. And speaking of new worlds, I'm going to be doing something a bit unorthodox here. But I have my reasons. Ass and I know that maybe... And I guess you don't even really need that box to get up to this treasure chest up here. You can just jump. There you go. I guess the box makes it a little easier. Let's see. We got everything from the from the kids. We got all this stuff right here. So let's just head on out. I think you can go ahead and exit to the gummy ship from the save point if you want. But eh, might as well exit the front door. Since this is one of the few worlds that actually has a world exit. A lot of them don't. All right, the green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. The more stars means stronger heartless in that world. All right, so we got two worlds to go to. We got either battle level one right here, or we got battle level two right here. Uh, notice where it says normal drive. That means this little path right here, this little glowy path, we have to drive our gummy ship through there. And for the time being, we're going to have to drive there, and then if we want to go to another world, we got to drive back to the other world. Eventually, we'll have an ability to warp. Um, you're supposed to go to this world first, I guess, but there's nothing stopping you from going to the this world right here. So I'm going to go to this world just to make uh, going to the other world a little easier. We're not going to spend too much time in this, in this world right here. We travel to different worlds on the gummy ship. The heartless ships often give us a hard time. Always be on the lookout during flight. Your journey will be documented until you reach your destination. Seek out the missions each world has to offer. Uh, in Final Mix, um, these gummy ship paths, you can undertake missions that require you to do certain things, like uh, defeat a certain number of uh, enemy ships, or take a certain amount of damage or less, or stuff like that. This were not in the original Kingdom Hearts. Um, I've never tried these before, so. I'll be trying these with you guys at some point. Probably not till towards the later part of the game, just because I'll probably end up uh, sitting down and trying to knock them all out in a matter of a couple of hours. So it'll probably be a couple episodes of that in a row, which will kind of suck, but yeah. All right, tilt it up to descend and tilt down to ascend. The blue gauge shows the power level. Iron lasers, among other things, consumes power. The green gauge shows the strength of the armor. If it reaches zero, it's back to the departing point. Alright, so let's see. X is break. Circle is fire. Square doesn't do a whole lot. I think that does a turbo when you get it. 
Uh, triangle will shoot lasers when you get it, but uh, we don't have anything right now. And just hold down the circle button and you auto fire, so that makes everything nice and easy. And you see these little pieces we're getting? Uh, these are parts for your gunship. ship. You'll be able to upgrade your ship into uh, better pieces. And I missed the, uh, that little blue globe looking thing. That is a blueprint that uh, has like the design for the enemy ship that dropped it. So you could, if you have the right pieces, you could automatically select to build like an enemy ship. Which isn't too particularly useful since the enemy ships aren't all that great for the most part. I mean, there's a couple of good ones later, but these first ones, not so much. But you want to try to collect the, uh, the parts right here. That way you can use them to upgrade your ship at least. There's several different parts. There's wings, there's cockpits, there's engines, there's lasers. There's a bunch of stuff. Ah, let's see. Yeah, these first couple of paths are going to be reasonably easy. So, might as well try them, I guess. Alright, these giant lasers, they will pretty much always give these little stars right here, which refill your your health to full, your blue gauge to full, and any other gauges over there to full, pretty much. Because you are going to get a few other gauges, just, uh, not yet. Let's see, I think these green ones right here restore your health. The blue ones restore your, uh, your power. Yeah, there you go. So it's all pretty standard. Yeah, these parts are pretty boring. So for the most part, I'm going to show the, the, the course going to a world. And then, uh, like, going back to other worlds, uh, I'll probably just cut those out. Unless, uh, unless I do attempt to do some of the... Uh, going missions like early on, which I might. I'm not counting on. And there's a blue ship. There's a blueprint that I couldn't get. Oh well. And here's our first world. It's floating on a cloud. New high score. Yeah, the high score thing that wasn't there in the original King Hearts. All right, so we got the Olympus Coliseum. So let's head on in. I, got, I always love the little animations they have for each world's uh, name. They always do something nice. Alright, so here at the Olympus Coliseum, there's a few hidden items, if we can find them. Uh, let's see, I know there's a blue trinity around here somewhere, I just gotta remember where it is, and there it is. So let's trinity this guy up. And we get... Our first set of Dalmatians, 22, 23, and 24, yeah. They're always going to appear in groups of three, so, uh, well, you'll always have a increment of three Dalmatians, pretty much. Alright, there's a white trinity that we can't get till towards the end of the game, actually. There's a green trinity that we can't get. And some banners that we can't do a whole lot about, like, for a while. And there's another blue trinity right here, so nice and easy. And what do we got here? More dimensions? I don't think so. Here we get a Mithril Shard. Another, another, another uh, whatchamacallit, uh, synth synthesis piece. And we get a Mega Potion. Very nice. That replaces the one we used in the Guard Armor fight. Alright, there's not a whole lot else we can do out here. So let's head on inside, shall we? Alright, remember this right here for later. That's going to be important to this area. A little bit. And let's see, we got a save point in here. Yeah, if you want to go back, these a lot of times these um, these swirly gummy or these swirly save points uh, will not allow you to teleport back to the gummy ship. Sometimes they will, but usually it's the uh, complete circle ones, the ones that are down on the ground all the way. Those ones usually let you teleport back out. All right, so let's talk to uh, this uh, guy with the bushy tail who's polishing something about the rules. Good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me. I gotta spruce this place up for the games. 
Alrighty. So we gotta use our muscles to move this out of the way for him. And I don't think it's gonna work. Let's try the other side. Yep, not so much. Yeah, there's not a whole lot we can do here, so let's uh, talk back to this guy. It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little? Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here is the world famous Coliseum, heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the games. So run along, pipsqueaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got heroes standing right in front of you. Yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. Hero? That front? <laughs> What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. Hey, if you can't even move this, you can't call yourself the hero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. Huh, so we can't move that thing either. He must have thought we were someone else, and, uh... Yeah, who's he, call who's he calling a run when he's shorter than Donald, pretty much? What does this thing say right here, anyways? One, in the games, the only thing you can hurt is your pride. Fight hard. Two, you can forfeit at any time. Fight as much as you like. And I think that's it. Yeah, those rules will be uh, clear later. But for right now, let's talk to uh, this guy right here. By the way, his name is Phil, in case you didn't know. All right, this trial is tough. You got what it takes? You ready? Sure, why not? Okay, kid, let's see what you've got. The rules are simple. Bust all the barrels within within the time limit. Ready? Go. Alright, so it's pretty simple. Just attack the barrels and kill them all in the amount of time that you have, which is more than enough, actually. Let's see, if we lock onto this one right here, we should be able to push it into those ones back there, or maybe not. Sometimes sometimes if you, uh, if you do it just right, you can uh, push the barrels into the other barrels. And if I fail this, that'd be sad. There we go. Alright, so that one's pretty easy. Unfortunately, my barrel tossing skills didn't go as planned. Alright, so this one, you gotta do a little a little tougher because there's more barrels. So this one right here, let's uh, try to knock that back into there. There we go, very nice. Let's try to clobber these four. Very nice. Alright, again, right here, we want to try to... Yeah, that didn't work out so well. I'm supposed to try to get all four in there, but oh well. Alright, we got five left. We probably should have, uh. Yeah, we messed up a little bit on that one. I'm supposed to put the single barrels towards that group of barrels, but oh well. And can I even get up there? I might have screwed myself here. Yeah, there's a good possibility I screwed myself. Yeah, don't forget about these barrels right here. They're kind of hidden. There's one, and there's two. Yeah, I think I screwed myself. Yeah, I think I screwed myself with that one barrel right there. So we're going to try that again. He's going to give us another shot, I hope. Alright. I'm not quitting. Let's try this again. I forgot about that damn barrel on the uh, platform. Oh, well. Alright, let's do this again. There we go. Very nice. Alright, so let's try to... Dang it, I'm supposed to get all four of them, but... Oh well. Wow. 
All right, let's try this again here. Let's see, it's aim here and there you go. All right, grab these bad boys. We should be able to. I was gonna say uh, we should be able to knock them into each other, but uh, that didn't work out. All right, we got three more barrels. Where are they? They are around here somewhere. Ha, there we go. And there we go. We're better than he thought. Very nice. You know, you ain't bad, kid. <laughs> Looks like I'm headed for the games. Afraid not. Why not? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. Come on. Yeah, Phil's not very good with the uh, whole counting thing that he's got going on. But, you want to become a real hero? Start by mastering this spell. And this is why I wanted to come here. You get the power of thunder. You get the magic spell thunder. Probably my favorite uh, attack spell in the game. It's just here. awesome. It does pretty here. good damage to thunder. a pretty good group of enemies. It costs the most MP out of the three basic spells, fire, blizzard, and thunder. Uh, the fire and the th uh, blizzards, they can all use the little MPs. Uh, thunder here. takes one, uh, one blue MP. So, Thunder. it's worth it though, because it does a lot more damage. Alright, so let's see what else he has to say. Alright, sorry I can't let you into the game just yet, but I can train you for him. Uh, I forget if you get anything else for redoing the barrels. Uh, let's try it real quick. I forget if you get anything else, but uh, let's, let's just make sure. I don't think you do, but we might. I forget. I think if you beat, like, your, uh, your time, you get a might get something, I don't know. Come on. Yes, yeah, so we got 13 seconds to... Hey. Not quite what I was going for, but oh well. Where are my last? Oh, there we are. Come on, I can do it. And we beat the top. We beat the high score. I forget if you get anything. I don't think you do. But I just wanted to see. Okay, yeah, you don't get anything. Oh well. And you could probably use your thunder spell in there, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're good. Stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? <laughs> oh, hey, hold on there, Fuzzboy. Oh, the, wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well, then, hey, get a load of this. A pass? It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. Hey, hey, we get an extra pass so we can go into the uh, Coliseum games. But I'm not going to do that right now. I only wanted to come here for the Thunder Spell. Uh, for the reason why I don't want to do this just now is because you are supposed to do this world after uh, the first, uh, the level one uh, battle world. Just because the enemies in the Coliseum rounds are going to be a little bit tougher than the enemies in the uh, other world. So I came here for the Thunder Spell, and I'm pretty much done right now. When we beat the other world, I'll come back to this one. But for now, let's head out. And we gotta head back to Traverse Town. Uh, let me see if I can't, um, let's see. Let me see if I can't try one of these gummy ship missions here. And if we can, awesome. If not, oh well. Alright, so gummy ship missions. How to play. Mission rules. Destroy enemy ships and obstacles. Collect items. And save your score when you arrive at your destination. Complete a mission by, by fulfilling its requirements. Use the triangle button to view mission details. Start with a gummy ship tailored for each mission. Each world has three missions. Challenge yourself to earn a high score. Modify gummy ships to readily complete missions. Press the R2 to change the score display. Oh, I guess that's not in here. Uh, let's see. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We got... Ah, here we are. Alright, so our first challenge for the path from Olympus Coliseum to Traverse Town. Uh, going either way, by the way. It doesn't matter. Just either way. 
uh, is obtain a score of 180 or higher. Uh, I, th I thought you had to like... Oh wait, hang on. Uh... Huh. Let me see something here. I, I, see, I've never played these before, so I'm not really sure what the, what the deal is here. Uh, let me see. I thought they were. I thought they were supposed to be for uh, both directions, but maybe not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because I see his Coliseum. Uh, see, I, I'm not getting this. So I already have a score of 80. Uh, maybe that means I already got that one. I don't know. Select button, help, that just takes us over here. Uh... By the way, there is a, another world right here, uh, Battle Level 3. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that one yet, because that one is a little bit tougher than that one right there. So we'll go back to that one in a little bit. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and meet you guys back at Traverse Town right now. And if I manage to get the... Uh, Gummy ship mission on the way there. Awesome. If not, well, I tried. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alrighty, we are back at Traverse Town, and I think I managed to get uh, one of the gummy, one of the gummy missions here. Uh, see, I even got a trophy, a test pilot there. Let's see. Um, let's see. Select world. Uh, let's see. Gummy ship missions. Let's see what we got here. We got. I guess we did get the one for Olympus Coliseum. It just didn't tell us. I mean, let me see. Uh, so I got a trophy that said test pilot there. So. Oh, clear gummy ship mission one. Um, I thought it, I thought that would be clear a gummy ship mission. I guess we just had to clear the first one. So I'm not sure if I actually got that uh, first. Um, I think I did actually. No. Okay, so that one is going to the uh, Coliseum to get the 180 points because I had 180 points on the uh, score there, just didn't give it to me, I guess. And apparently we get a wheel G, which is a uh, building something or other on the gummy garage. We'll go over the gummy garage later, but uh, for right now, let's go to Traverse Town. By the way, since we're already at Traverse Town, we don't need to drive back there. We don't got to go through the. We don't got to go through the. Uh, the watch the, the, uh, the gummy space, or whatever they call the same thing. Um, you know what? Let's go to. Let's go to the Magician Study. Why not? That's closest to where I want to go. I think some of the Heartless should be back by now. I think, and that'd be good because we could use nine experience points for Sora. And even if we don't, well, there's something else we can do. So if we head out to this uh, third district area right here, there's going to be a pipe we can interact with, kind of. Now that we have the thunder spell, yes, we got enemies. Fire. All right, and thunder. yeah, thunder, nice little area of effect. I love it. I love it. All right, enemies, yeah. There we go. And Goofy's got a defense up. I'll take it. Yeah, thunder just kind of goes through a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies don't have a really good resistance to it, so. It's just very good. I mean, there's there are there are plenty of enemies that do resist it eventually, and then it loses some of its usefulness. But for right now, I love it. And yeah, as notice how we're getting uh, our MP back with the little yellow bar. Uh, whenever the yellow bar fills all the way up to the current blue MP, I think it is, then you gain that MP part. Uh, you gain another MP, another blue MP back, and then so the more MP you're missing, the uh, longer it takes to fill up, obviously. So. This is how it goes. Anyways, use our thunder spell right here. Thunder. There we go. And that will get the gizmo shop over in the 
Fongo and Perdita district, whatever that, whatever number that is. That'll get the Gizmo Shop over there up and running now. So now we can go to the second floor there and grab some more postcards. So let's do it. And I should be damn close to a level up. Yeah, okay. Alright, a few more enemies around here. There we go. Alright, so... Let's see, we, we already went up there, so let's go over this way so we can just... Go through. I might have been wrong on the uh, MP mechanics. I'm, I've never fully got them. Uh, the restoration on it. It's no, they let you restore by attacking stuff in combat. I guess. I guess it is. Uh, I, I guess it's uh, all the way up to the top of the MP bar. I thought it was to the top of the whatever blue MP you had, but yeah, I could be wrong. Either way, attacking enemies, you get your MP back eventually. So just attack, yeah, there we go. It was to the, it was to the first MP bar. Come here, you little shit. There we go. Alright, and we got some more AP from that level up, so that's very nice. Let's put another ability on Sora. Let's see. Now we have two more free AP. Very nice. So let's put that stun impact back on. And there we go. We're back at maximum combat capacity. I like it. Dang it, I didn't want to use fire, I wanted to use thunder. I'm going to have to change my shortcut because I usually have a thunder set to try and work with. I haven't got a chance to switch it around yet. Yes, you notice how Donald's already out of his MP? He's going to be doing a lot of physical attacking just because, well, he runs out of MP fast because he uses all his spells. A lot. I mean, even if you do customize them to not use them a lot, they'll still try to use them a lot. So it's just how he works. Yeah, nice stun. I like it. And of course, the shadows are immune when they go into ground by thunder. Oh well. And yeah, you're gonna be hearing that sound of Donald passing out like a champ pretty much constantly throughout the game because, well, that's his trademark. Every time you hear, ah, that means Donald's taking another one for the team, as usual. Oh well, that's what he does. Alright, so let's go to the gizmo shop right here. So we can get up there. There we go. Ah, there are gonna be a few more enemies, so why not? By the way, uh, now that the enemies are, uh, are back in here, um, I think going two screens away will respawn them. Like, going two screens away and coming back, that'll respawn them. Which is pretty similar to a lot of games where you have to go, like, two or three screens away to respawn them. Seems like two or, seems like two or three screens is the magic, magic number. Alright, so back to the gizmo shop here. And now there's going to be more waves of enemies, and the little platform is going to be working. So yeah, now, now there's going to be some good experience in here, because the soldiers start showing up. This actually is not a bad place to grind for a few early levels, simply because the soldiers will give you a nice chunk of experience. Right. Yeah, nice damage, I love it. Ooh, another protect chain, I can use that. Probably give that to, uh... Whoever doesn't have it, which I, I don't want my party members doesn't have it, so they'll get it. Alright, who wants it? Uh, I guess nobody wants it. You gotta do this. There you go. 
Yeah, see, look how, look how quickly Thunder clears everything out. I mean, Fire, you can rapid fire, but Thunder just does a lot of damage to a, group, a good number of enemies, so I love it. And by the way, uh, Fire does have like a homing capability slightly. Like it'll it'll slightly veer to the uh, sides to uh, like try to target your ooh another protection and a spear shot nice it'll like try to like follow an enemy but it won't like it won't like home in on him for for screens on end I, like like if uh, I target an enemy that was over by that door and he kind of moved to the left a little bit it would it would try to follow him but uh, obviously it's, it's not gonna make like U turn nothing but it'll try to it'll try to attack him. All right, good job, Goof. All right, anybody else here? Yeah, son of a bitch. Yeah, you go much better. Ah, come on, I wanna study you guys. I think if you, I think if you hit them when they're doing that little uh, torpedo attack, at just the right moment you can, uh, you can parry, you can parry the attack. But it seems to be kind of hard to actually get. All right, how's? All right, I think that's all the enemies. Very good. We didn't do too bad. All right, uh, I guess they all have protect chain. Ooh, and I got extra protect chains. So there you go. And there you go. Everybody's got a nice protect chain combo going on. I'll take it. 10 defense for you, 9 for you, and 13 for you. Alright, hurry up and uh, wake up there, guys. Alright, so now let's go on these little platforms right here. Now that we can get up here. And what do we got? We got... Where is it? Press that. And that makes it easier to get somewhere else, I think. I forget where, but... uh. Yeah, I think that I think that makes that stand still. I think. Uh, let's see. What does this do? This does something. I forget what all these damn switches doing here, but they they do lead to items. So you want to come in here at some point. Let's see. Let's see. How do we get over there? Ah, here we go. And there we go. That unlocked something. I forget what. Uh, where is it? There should be some treasure chests in here now. Oh, or an enemy. I'll take that too. Where are you, you little shadowy butt? Alright, where are those treasure chests? I know they're around here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, that's right, you gotta examine this. There you go. And there we go, we got our two postcards. I don't think I don't think if you examine it beforehand you get anything. You have to press all those switches. All right, so there's two more postcards, and after that, we're going to only have one more postcard to get. Let's see, anything up here that I care about? Eh, not really. All right, so let's just head on to uh, turn these in. And damn it, I need to switch my damn torque around, because I'm tired of using the thunder fire. All right, customize Sora. Let's put... There you go. Thunder and fire. Come on. 
Alright, come here, fellow. Where'd you go? I sh he was here a minute ago. Where'd he go? I think he disappeared. Alright, back to the first district. By the way, uh, enemies are not going to usually show up in the first district here. Uh, except for just like that little intro part that we had. Uh, I think there's like one other time they show up in here. But it's not a very common occurrence at all. Yeah, see, there's the uh, red trinity mark on the other side of the alleyway over there. But I'm not seeing the treasure chest that we saw. Oh well. Alright, let's go turn in these postcards and see what we get for our troubles. We get... Ooh, a Megalixer. That, ex that fully restores everybody's HP and MP. Can be used in the item menu or the... Or the pause menu. And for the eighth... <coughs> Excuse me. Eighth postcard, we get Orichalcum, which is used for synth synthesis. Alright, so we got two more postcards to find. I thought it'd be one, but oh well. Anyways, guys, uh, we made it to Olympus Coliseum. We got a Thunder Spell, and we explored fully explored the gizmo shop of Trevor's Sound. So next time, we're going to head off into the Battle World Level 1. So guys, thanks for watching.